Hello everybody, Prince Bear here. We're back at Epcot because it's time for the princess to watch me eat more disgusting things at Flower and Garden. And encourage him to eat plants at the same time. She's gonna try. At least I'll try to rip some of the vegetarians this time. Maybe. But let's go find out. Be sure to subscribe. I heard the girl. Here we have the honey butter chicken and waffle from the Bee Bistro. It's a nice sized waffle with a little, little fried chicken chunk on top. I've seen bigger fried chickens, but at least the proportions match. I had to go with a little plastic knife to get in here. They had a little bit of like syrup in here. The waffle is a little, a little overcooked. Just a teensy bit. Corn? This is a weird, this is gonna be a weird one. Let's just uh, go ahead and cut it nice. There's definitely some odd things going on. The waffle is like falling apart. There's like corn in here. There's some green stuff in here. And the waffle is so overcooked it literally just fell to pieces when I cut it. Now, apparently this is their most popular item. It's what everybody's waiting for. Uh, that may lead to some execution issues this first week. This gonna make dinner. Let's try to waffle by itself. I don't know what it is about that. I'm gonna tell you this now. There are a lot of food reviewers. I brought this up the front of this channel. There are a lot of people that do and eat Disney food. Each and every one of those people has different taste buds. Some of them are gonna love things. Some of them are gonna hate things. Some of them don't care what it tastes like and they're just telling you they like it because you'll click on it. I'm telling you, that's terrible. That is a chicken nugget on top of a terrible corn muffin. It's like corn, it's not a waffle. It may look like a waffle, but it don't taste like a waffle. And that is literally just a chicken nugget. It's got like that soggy, like wheat breading. It's not even like a crispy breading. I mean, if you want something that's like sugary sweet with like honey butter on top, is it technically chicken and may it, may it have gone in the waffle maker? Maybe, but is it chicken and waffles? That's straight up fail. Two out of five minutes. We have the po poutine monstrosity of the month. Every year, refreshment port comes up with some wild take on poutine with Disney shoestring fries and some sort of monstrosity. We've seen gnocchi, we've seen short rib, we've seen all sorts of weirdness come out Holiday of Holiday turkey. Holiday turkey. This year, it is shrimp scampi. Shrimp scampi poutine for our friends in the cold north. I'm sure they would agree with me, it is not poutine. But I'm gonna eat this anyway, because the community expects me to. It's literally just your own expectations that are hurting me right now. This video better get 100 likes. I'm never doing poutine ever again. Look at that, that's like spinach, you got cut up shrimp. So there's shrimp pieces in here. It's got big pieces of cheese in here. Don't worry, I did take magic pills. This has got the cheese curds, right? Right? Big chunks of cheese in your scampi. A like huge chunks. In all the worst ways, it's shrimp dip on fries. Like it is powerful. It's literally like a, I think crab dip, but with shrimp. And then like just powerful, powerful. It's. It's like pouring your dip on top of fries. It's definitely not poutine. Even a two out of five plus. Make sure it's shrimp, scampi, absolute nut. Avoid that like the plague.
here we are in France with another croissant. This time, goat cheese instead of mushroom. You're not gonna fool me this time. Last time I saw the thing on top, and I'm like, oh, it's a little bit of whatever it's supposed to be filled with. I am imagining this thing is chock full of piping hot goat cheese. How are we gonna melt my insides? Luckily, I don't need magic pills for goat cheese. Yep, it's filled. If there's any more goat cheese in there, it'd be getting flare. Mm. They filled the inch, every inch of the inside of that thing with cheese. There is no air pockets, there's no nothing, it's just a mouthful of goat cheese. And that I like. It's really warm. Warmer, I think, than some other things I've had today, but I'm giving it three and a half and five plus. Easily the best one I've had in France, bar none. Well, here we have the oxtail and rice. Big juicy pieces of oxtail. Uh, let's just go ahead and dig in. I haven't done oxtail in a long time, so uh, let's see how this treats me. Oxtail cooked well, nice and saucy. The rice and the green onions. It's kicking, got a right amount of spice. The texture's good. Four to five plus. It's actually pretty good. Quite surprised, my mouth is actually starting to tingle a little bit. I'm impressed. Here we are with this citrus pistachio cake. It looks like a Moroccan donut, but it's really like a bunch of cream on top of the cake. With walnuts. Uh, I promise to do more desserts for you guys. More vegetarian items. I'm kind of afraid of this one. But, like we always say, we do commit to our mistakes. I was scared. It's actually pretty amazing. It's like basically like a, a crusted mousse on top of a cake. The citrus is perfectly in balance with the sweet and it feels so good in your mouth. It's like um, it's like a bounce house in your mouth. That's the best way I can describe it. That level of joy. I'm giving it four and a half out of five plus. Take up this nice fatty piece of salmon. 
Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. For you shoot you kind of swords out there, don't hate me. I don't care anymore. Anyway. As if like Japan didn't already have enough restaurants. She was straight sushi bar. Walk in, all chef selection, sushi bar. Tokyo With dining. 45 minutes. Tokyo dining. Go ahead and count. I want all traditional. Never gonna happen. There are plenty of places like that in Orlando, and you only need that here. I can wish. Give that one a four out of five plus. Two of the gold flake. Because my insides deserve whatever carrot gold that is. outside in Florida, but creamy udon, I am on board. You have the nice big pieces of shrimp. You got the tiny little niki mushrooms. Looks like uh, either bok choy, no, it's a Brussels sprout, honestly enough, and some other root vegetables in here. Nice and creamy, big noodles in the bottom. Let's give it a good mix here. Get everything all in there. I'm gonna try to get one of these trippies. And some greens in there. Attack it. Okay. Uh, that like Alfredo meets, meets udon. That's how creamy the noodles are. The flavor reminds me of it. Definitely coats everything it touches. I kind of wish the shrimp had been tail off, but I'm gonna have fish in my mouth for the cream. And I don't always like eating the tails. I will if I have to, I'm a bear, but I prefer if I'm not to. But it's a good flavor. Uh, probably not the best to eat, but if you want udon, it's got a nice flavor to it. It's not gonna fill you up, it's kind of small and it should be all the way full, like half full if they are, but beggars can't be cheap. Though I can still complain. Three and a half out of five bucks. So, Mufaleta. Before I even bite in this, I, I got some real issues. There's, I see what happened here, okay? You gave me a burnt panini. That's I, I, it looks like you were trying to melt the cheese. You left it in longer, so like the cheese down here isn't melted, but the cheese on top is. And you just end up with burned sandwich that feels like it was sitting under the heat lamp for a bit long. If I threw this at somebody, it might be a salt. But I do this for you guys. So we commit to our mistakes. It tastes burnt. A lot of burnt olive. The olive, the olive top knot is there. Even a little spice to it. Like a three and a half out of ten on the spice scale. Very olive forward. You got the meats, you got the cheese. You just got the executions a bit off. You served me burnt bread and it, it, it tastes burnt. Burnt is the first thing I taste. Which is sad because without the burnt, it would actually probably be a decent sandwich. Uh, we always come to these festivals usually opening weekend for a couple days, opening days. And there's usually some, a little bit of heartache as they're like learning everything. So, you know, cast members work hard. I get it. Uh, if you find one and it's not burnt, it's probably going to be good. Probably watch some people come out. If theirs is burnt, skip it. Otherwise, it's okay. With it being burnt, it's losing like a whole point. Two and a half out of five plus. If it wasn't burnt, it'd probably be a three and a half.
My main issue with Italy has always been the cost of the ingredients versus what you get. Now, the Premier Kitchen is not like a Disney run uh, booth. It's run by the Bettina Group, just like Via Napoli and uh, Tutto Italia. But this is spinach tortellini with a bunch of veggies for $10. It might be good, but that value for me, that hurts my wallet. You hurt my wallet, I hurt my little brother. We're going to have problems. What? I mean, it's got a little flavor to it, a little mouthfeel. It's honestly really good. I would say, Four out of five claws is good. Now, if we were reviewing this, would I pay $10 for this? Absolutely not. But as far as flavor, it's a disappoint. It's buttery, hearty. The textures work well together. Other than the price, I really have no complaints. I always say shop with their own wallet and not with anybody else's. But uh, honestly, it's not terrible. Even with the big llama beans sitting there that I hate so much. It's definitely got meat in it, so it's not vegetarian. But if you feel Italian, or you want something to pair with your really, really strong margarita, you got the money, go ahead and do it. You're on vacation. Um, I'm gonna give it a solid four to five plus. I'm probably gonna regret that later, but four to five plus. Uh, a shrimp Caesar salad in a cup. This is eight dollars. I see two shrimpies, three shrimpies, and what amounts to maybe one third of one leaf of romaine with Caesar dressing in here. So it's it's basically shrimp and anchovy. I'm only doing this for you guys. Cause I. There's something deep inside my soul that says this is wrong. This is very wrong. It's a shrimp salad. But it's basic as a double cheeseburger for McDonald's. It tastes all right. I still say spend your money elsewhere. Two and a half out of five claws. I feel insulted just having eaten this. Here we have the uh, quesadilla de four cabasa. Cabasa. Uh, this is not the sort of quesadilla I was expecting. Definitely smaller than what I was expecting, but uh, interesting construction. It's definitely uh, very cheesy on the inside. You got some squash blossoms and some other things in there. I think it's gonna be a one magic pill dealy, but uh, if I keel over, you're gonna know that I probably should have taken two. I really don't know which end to start at because the filling is really only in the middle. Got my hands all messy. There's bacon in here. There's bacon in here too. Bear into it. Okay. Definitely takes you a bit to get in there, but uh, it is very cheesy. Almost too much cheese. That's really a thing. Not that it's too much cheese, I feel like there's not enough of everything else. Because there is filling, you can see the filling. With like the bacon and the squash blossom. There's no, I can't taste any of it. I just taste cheese and then the quesadilla itself. What I can taste, tastes good. You just get sort of lost in it though. It's disappointing because it looked kind of good. It tastes like cheese and corn. 
nice to have like a corn tortilla instead of like the flour, but yeah, two out of five plus. Kind of disappointment. It's a letdown. Florida Fresh Booth, here we have the Blackened Fish Slider. Don't know what kind of fish, because it didn't say. But here we are. It looks very black. Black enough to be one of my ancestors. Don't look at me like that. We're one day out from Black History Month. I still got jokes left. Don't get me wrong. I like black and thick. There's a limit to how much black and sweet you can put on something. It comes off like a salt lick with fish underneath. Strong. I think I've hit my sodium, my sodium limit for the whole week. We're gonna give that one three out of five claws. I like it, but I don't think I can eat more than one more bite. Oof. So these long sh tube shaped thingies are actually orange sesame tempura shrimp with orange chili sauce. Looks like they definitely do a decent job of coating it in the orange chili. The nice long pieces of sea roach. A bit softer than I like my uh, tempura, but I guess that's probably because of the chili sauce. But they give you uh, five pieces, which I was not expecting. Thank you, sir. Very nice. Ooh, that's a nice deep flavor. I was expecting something that's going to be like overly citrus, but it's a nice balance of citrus and chili. The tempura, even though it's soggy, it's got a nice little crunch to it. The sesame tea's got a nice touch. Mmm. Wow. I've had other shrimp dishes from the different phases of the Oscar River festivals. This is actually pretty good. I kind of like this one. I'm going to give it a solid four to five blocks. If you're in here, and you're looking to go all out with the orange bird cult. That's right. I said cult. Go and get this. Mm. Four out of five plus. Then we have a lemon meringue tart. More citrus. Tart form. I guess this is supposed to look. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. It's lemon meringue and a custard, a little, a little crisp tart. I've come to like these little tart thingies. I don't always like what's in them. Uh, I promise you guys more desserts. And I'm trying to rep more for you vegetarians, and I guess vegetarians only like dessert all the time, 24-7. That seems to be all you get. But uh, we're gonna try this. It's definitely a uh, meringue-y. It's got that like meringue jiggle to it. Ooh, look at that. Look at the jiggle jiggle. Messy though. Go ahead and scoop that up. I have a feeling I'm really gonna dislike this. Honestly, it's not terrible. But it's like eating um, a lemon head in cake form. It's lemon meringue. The uh, topping, like a little whipped topping on top, does help. That's meringue. The meringue piece sort of uh, balance out the extreme citrus, but it's still lemon, like a falcon punch to the gut. A level of lemon. Three to five plus. Well, this has been me eating every disgusting thing I can find 
at the flower and garden making the princess watch. He looked at the flowers. I did. Looked at the flowers. I did. But I want to know what you guys think of everything we've had here today. If there's anything else you think we should do, by all means, the comments is a place to find us. If there's anything else you'd like to see us go or do or be, by all means, that's always a place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe or Bear will just take Spaceship Earth and move it to another park. I don't know how. I'm starting to feel like Browser, but this is the wrong park for that. You gotta do it though. You heard the girl.